Good morning, and welcome to St. Juliana Falconieri Parish. We're glad you've joined us to celebrate God's presence in our lives. We especially welcome all visitors to our parish for the celebration of Christmas. Today, Father Mike will lead us in the celebration of God's love for us. The readings can be found at number 872 of the Journey Songs hymnal. Please take a moment to stand and welcome the people around you. Please let us sing together our gathering hymn number 300, O Come All Ye Faithful, number 300.
come to adore him, Christ the Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God his Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We've gathered together on this Christmas morning to celebrate the mysteries of the Holy Mass. Let us remember the ways that we've kept the love of Jesus in our hearts and extended it to others and give thanks. For the times we've turned away from the Lord, we ask pardon and peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we are bathed in the new radiance of your incarnate word, the light of faith, which illumines our minds, may also shine through our deeds, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. See, the Lord proclaims to the ends of the earth. Say to Zion, say to daughter Zion, your savior comes. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you shall be called frequented a city that is not forsaken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we have done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told to them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I must admit, I'm a little bit uneasy preaching at this moment, for I've seen some of you now three times in only two days. You were faithful. You came to the fourth Sunday of Advent. Some came to 4 o'clock or 10 o'clock last night, and some are here again. I I hope that you're not thinking that I'm going to preach the same homily over and over. And I got news. The same kind of thing happens next year, so the deacons are going to be preaching more often. Here's the point. We have to think of something new to say all the time about something that is old, this wonderful tradition that we have of Christmas. And so we priests talk to one another, or now with YouTube and all sorts of different resources online, we can find all kinds of things to say. Here's what I'm going to say. The nativity scene was created by St. Francis of Assisi. In 1233, that makes it 800 years old, this tradition. You see, the Italians really founded the tradition of our faith. If you want to know something about the faith, ask an Italian. If you want to know something about the faith, go to Italy. It's nothing more than a giant theme park for the Roman Catholic Church. (laughs) And what is it that the creche says? It says, there's the Lord. It's a gospel, really. It proclaims Jesus. That's what the gospel does proclaims Jesus. And we have responses to a proclamation, to all proclamations, we have a response. It's a little bit of a repeat. So the stoplight is a proclamation. Red, it's proclaiming stop, and we do. Green, go, and we move. Yellow, some think it means to speed up, others think it means to stop, and so you have a collision watch the person ahead of you. And maybe that's an important thing, to watch the person ahead and see what that person does. We're told in the gospel that the shepherds came. The shepherds came. We didn't have one until I, I bought the, I found this guy at half price at a store. And, and he, so he's coming with his sheep and he pauses and he admires and he says, that's where Jesus is. And he goes off and gets other shepherds, and they pause, mostly. I suppose a lot of people came and saw and paused, and others walked on by because Nordstrom's was having a sale. Others walked on by because they had to return stuff that didn't fit or um, didn't work or they had to buy batteries. But the important thing is there's the gospel scene Jesus, the presence of the Lord, and what do you do with it? What's your style? How do you express love for the Lord? That's the important question to ask. I suppose in many of your homes you have a nativity scene. You put it up year after year. For some, it's a matter of nostalgia. You remember that grandparents or parents or someone along the way gave it to you, or you bought it and it's become meaningful. 
I encourage always, every year, folks to come to this church or whatever church you happen to be by and pause at the nativity scene and really allow it to come into your life and see love and see this style. Luckily, at St. Juliana's, we have two other reminders of Christmas every day. The window of Christmas, that's where Jesus is born. The first window of his life, these windows describe the life of Jesus, they proclaim the gospel. And then one, two, three, four, five, the joyful mysteries over here. And there's the nativity of the Lord, never to be forgotten. You remember the joyful mysteries, don't you? Let's start. The Annunciation, the Lily, in Italian, the Giulio. And then Magnificat, the Visitation. Mary saying, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. The Nativity of the Lord, the Presentation of the Lord in the Temple, and finally, the Finding of Jesus in the Temple. The window that I always think reminds me of the rooster on the Kellogg's cornflakes box. So we have two other reminders at all times, the nativity window and the third joyful mystery window. What is it that gives this day some special kind of meaning? It's the style that you'll express love. Where did you get that, Father? Macy's. You know, I have a thing about slogans. I, I really don't care much for Nike slogan, just do it. You can get yourself in an awful lot of trouble by just doing it. When I was a kid, we had a workbook called Think and Do. So we were taught to think and then do. It was a way to get us to reflect on what's the right thing, I suppose. Just doing it's not always the right thing. Macy's, you know, usually had that slogan, believe, at Christmas time. But I happened to notice it this year in a different way, because I was at Herald Square, and there it is, the great big signs, give style, give love. Ah, Michael, there's your Christmas homily. What's the style that you're going to put on this year? What style of living? We prayed in the uh, First, in the, the, we prayed in the first prayer, the collect, gathering all of our prayers together, that we may act in such a way as to reflect what it is that we believe and who we are. What is it that we believe and who are we? People of love, because Jesus is a person of love. The fourth candle on the Advent wreath was the candle of love. Remember the sequence of the candles? Hope, peace, joy, love. They all culminate in love. And this day culminates in the love that God has for us in revealing to us his only begotten son so that we can live in his love. Let his love be our style today and always as we reflect on the meaning of the Christmas crash scene, 800 years old. Let us reflect on the meaning of Jesus and imitate the style that we heard in the gospel reading, those shepherds that couldn't hold the good news in. They had to run out and, and say, I found him, I found him, I found him. Just like many of you will do with the gifts that you get at Christmas. This is what I got, this is what I got, this is what I got, this is what I have. Why do you have it? How did you get it? Because of someone's love. Someone going out of his or her way to say, this is what you need because you don't have it yet or maybe you have it three other times. And you can pass all that over and go to the Nordstrom's and return it. Let us always reflect on the style of our love, and the love of our style, as we meditate on Jesus, born again on Christmas Day. May he reign in our hearts today and always. Give him away. He came freely and he can be given freely. For that's what love does. It's free, it's offered, no strings attached, and it's given freely with no strings attached. I've seen some of you three days now, and I hope that you put three different envelopes in the collection, <laughs> because that's your style of love. God bless.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. On this most holy day, the heavens rejoice and the earth is glad, for Jesus, the Word of God, is made flesh among us. Jesus Christ is born of the Virgin Mary, and so, in confidence and love, we pray. For all people everywhere, that the celebration of the birthday of our Savior will renew us in faith and unite us in hope, peace, joy, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the peace sung by the angels, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill, on the first Christmas night, will become a reality in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For children everywhere, that the God who became a little child will bless them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Jerusalem and the Holy Land, that the weapons of war will be cast aside and the language and a peaceful way of life will, be, will begin. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For first responders, healthcare workers, and all who work for the common good and thanksgiving for their service to us, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the ministers and the ministries of St. Juliana Parish, for the gift of faith of our parishioners, for the gift of education at St. Juliana Catholic Grammar School, we pray all be kept safe and made holy this season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that God will bring them to himself. For all who are ill, that God's hand will heal them. For everyone for whom we promise to pray, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the masses this Christmas day, for the parishioners of St. Juliana Parish and Catholic Grammar School, for the repose of the soul of Rosa Marie Perez, for the health and well-being of Mr. S. Lee, Bishop Kevin Van, and Father Luke Steno, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of everlasting love and joy, when you took flesh and were born of the Blessed Virgin Mary, angels proclaimed peace on earth and goodwill to all. May your children bring about a just, joyful, and peaceful world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing number 308, Angels We Have Heard on High, number 308. Joy. 
you see Ho-Ho? Our altar table is ready now, and pray that my sacrifice and yours may be found acceptable to God, the Almighty and loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our offerings be worthy, we pray, O Lord, of the mysteries of the Nativity this day, that just as Christ was born of man and woman and also shone forth as God, so these earthly gifts may confer on us what is divine. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory, has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that, as we recognize in Jesus God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. You are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is Jesus, your Son, always present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. We remember long ago, and we know today for us, it is Jesus who opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. 
Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer to you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that, by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, his brother bishops, with all the other bishops, priests, deacons, and religious, and the entire people you've made your own. Open wide our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, Inspire in us compassionate words and merciful actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve everybody truly after the example of Christ and at his command to love one another. And may your great church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. And grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. For there, in communion with blessed Virgin Mary, mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with saints Juliana and Peregrine and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, and using the words that Jesus taught us, together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the table of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Merry Christmas from all of the ministries and ministers at St. Juliana to each of you. You're served by a wonderful office staff, by um, two wonderful deacons, and a wonderful choir, a keyboard artist, and the cantors, and the altar servers, the ministers of hospitality, and the, those who distribute the Holy Communion, the readers, all of us welcome each of you to St. Juliana's today, and always come often to our church. Know that you're at home here, always watched over by the, the scene of the Nativity in the windows, and by all the other scenes for that matter. The Gospel simply says Jesus is present, and where Jesus is present, you've come. You've made the journey, and that makes all the difference in your life and each one of ours. Thank you very much for your attendance at St. Juliana, for the love that you have of our parish, and most especially of our Savior, Jesus Christ. May you have a happy, um, Merry Christmas, a New Year, and all of the rest that follows from it. Enjoy the season, enjoy the life, enjoy the gift. Have a good style, everybody. God bless. On your way out, we have books for you from Mr. Matthew Kelly. Also know that the daily Mass during the week will be celebrated at 8 o'clock. There will be no 6.30 Mass this next week. That's because one of us likes every now and again to sleep in. And I think that's the deacon. Um, <laughs> thank you again and again and once more after that. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Let us stand and pray. Go home and look at your nativity set and give thanks to the Italian that started it. <laughs> Grant us, O oh Lord, as we honor the joyful devotion of the nativity of your Son, that we may come to know with fullness of faith the hidden depths of this mystery and to love them ever more and more each day. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing number 303, Joy to the World, numbers 303. We'll sing verses 1 and 4. Amen. 